initially, after getting the clues, we arrested three main accused persons who were involved in this gruesome act. And after talking to them, after their custodial questioning, they led us to other accused persons who were involved. And of course, they led us to the recovery of pieces of evidence, such as the iron rod which was used to hit the DYSP on his head, the pistol of DYSP which was issued to him, a damaged pistol was also recovered on the identification and disclosure of the accused persons. Similarly, the identity card of the DYSP and the cell phone of the DYSP, which was taken away by the miscreants after murdering him, was also recovered. You all know that DSP had fired in self-defense when he was heckled and ultimately lynched by the miscreants. He had fired, injuring three miscreants below the waistline. So they all were arrested because they were the persons who initially started heckling the DYSP. The investigation so far, after investigating all the aspects, talking to all the, uh, the, the accused persons involved, and uh, after gathering the evidence on record and the statements, so far we have been able to arrest 20 accused persons in this particular case. The investigation of the case, I should say, is going on in an absolutely right manner, expeditiously and effectively. Some more arrests are expected and some more evidence is to be collected, which will be collected and brought on record in due course of time. And we are hopeful to complete the investigation within the stipulated time and ultimately produce the chalan of the case for judicial determination. I said 20 accused have been arrested. I just forgot to tell you one very important thing. One accused involved in lynching of DYSP by the name of Sajjad Gilkar, resident of Nahatta. That was your question. Was killed in an encounter with police and security forces at Badgam. And it was on 12th of this uh, uh, 12th of uh, July. This individual was involved in since 2008 was involved in around 14 cases and was detained under PSA thrice. Not only for pelting, but he was also involved in stabbing cases. And after this incident, he got missing. He went missing, went underground. And we came to know about his missing on 29th of, of June, when he was supposed to attend a court in a stabbing case in which he was involved. He skipped the court on that hearing, and the verifications then revealed that he had joined the militant outfit, and he had become an active militant. And of course, after that, which the encounter which took place in Badgam, he was physically there, and he fired on the security force and got killed.